What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dom. I have my 2015 Jeep Wrangler sitting behind me and today I'm actually gonna be changing the brakes on it. I have Brie filming it for me today. Um, that way I don't have to worry about anything because I just wanna get this done with. I haven't done this in a very long time and I remember nothing. So let's dive into this. Let's see what I remember. I've never jacked up the Jeep before either. So this is gonna be interesting. We'll use jack stands just to be safe. I don't wanna die. Yeah. Honestly, these brake pads are fine. I don't know why they're squealing so badly. Hopefully it's not the front ones. Yeah, that would have sucked. That would suck. Not, not so good. Definitely not twenty millimeter. Ah, I should be able to. I took off the wrong bolts. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Honestly, these bolts are a lot easier to get off than the other ones. So that makes me happy. All right, oh boy. The brake pad is fine. It's just super rusted. I mean, it's falling apart like it. It's just bad. Don't worry, we have new ones. We have new ones, so. Trash, not trash. Gotta clean this. Get off the little shims on the side. I have new ones, so I'm not even gonna worry about them. We'll find that one later. I don't know where that one went. Now comes probably the hard part. Let's see how difficult it is to get this thing off. It can be easy. Oh God, I don't think it's gonna be easy. If everything else was rusted, this is definitely gonna be rusted. All right, I'm not even gonna mess with this. I'm just gonna grab a hammer. So first we'll try this one. So I was being stupid and forgot that the e-brake was on. This e-brake pushes up against the hat of the rotor. So the e-brake was basically keeping it on the wheel hub. I'm waiting for it to, oh, it's already like looser, isn't it? Yeah. It's gonna pop off. Feel confident. Oh, oh it's moving. It came off. Oh I my god. He had to go back to Walmart to get a bigger hammer, so he got the Mac Daddy. It's off! I did it! <sighs> oh man, look at all that rust. I'm gonna like Sharpie it on there just to say Mac Daddy. Oh my gosh, you should. <laughs> yes! It worked. Oh, yeah. We have been out here for hours. Oh I told my you I needed just goodness. a bigger hammer. <laughs> there it is. You did it. We have been out here for three and a half hours. Mac Daddy. <laughs> Mac Daddy. That should be the title of this video. Future. If I ever need to whack something again. Looking pretty nice. Looking good. It's difficult because you want to make sure that all this is smooth mm -hmm. and there's still so much rust on there. Now to clean everything um, with brake cleaner because it comes from factory with grease on it or like oil and you don't want that getting on your brakes so then it's gonna make your brakes not work. So spray everything down with brake cleaner and then should be good from there. Now 
not even gonna fit. Well, looks like we're going. Old going fashioned. where? Oh, that we'd go out again. No, we're doing it the old fashioned way. We really took the time and money to buy this and I can't even use it. Yep. Great. We're cranking it down until it's tight. Well, that's about 90 foot pound, right? Blader valve open, finally. Now we're compressing the brake caliper piston before we put this back on. There we go. Man, that was a lot of work. That was crazy. I didn't expect it to be that difficult, especially since the rotor was like the big hardest part out of all of that. You now we're gonna it. do the other side, but I'm not even gonna film that because it's the exact same thing. Let me throw the wheels back on, pump the brakes, make sure that it's got brake fluid, fill up the brake fluid reservoir, and then we're good to go. That's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you liked this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Also come back next week for another 350 or a Jeep video, and I'll see you in the next one.